The Honda Jazz has traditionally appealed to a certain demographic, because it's a small car with the emphasis purely on space and practicality. You want style or a truly fun driving experience? Move along. Nothing to see here. It's up against cars such as the Ford Fiesta, VW Polo and Peugeot 208. Cars whose drivers are more likely to be seen wearing ripped jeans than M&S slacks. Still, change could be afoot, because the Jazz has had makeover outside. Its front end has a bit of a gurning face, but is much more interesting than before, while strong lines and quirky aero wheels combine to make this a much edgier car to look at. There's also a Crossstar model with chunky plastic cladding for that faux SUV look. The edginess continues inside where the design is far more interesting than in a Fiesta or Polo. There are different shapes and textures plus a raised center console with the gear selector set quite high up. Crossstar models even get waterproof seats. Yep, in the middle of the dashboard is the infotainment screen which is either 5 inches as standard without touch capability or 9 inches on higher level models with touch, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's a much better effort than Honda's systems to date, although the driver's digital dials are some way behind the best small cars. Space and practicality are the Jazz's fortes. There's loads of room in the front and back for adults, although the rear middle seat is best left to children. The Jazz also keeps its clever magic rear seats which allow the base to be flipped up or backs to be folded down flat. The boot isn't huge compared with Apollo's or 208's, but it'll handle a couple of large suitcases, is low to the ground and has superb access. The UK gets a grand total of one engine option on the Jazz, a 1.5-litre petrol mated to two electric motors and a battery pack. That means hybrid power, the ability to travel on electricity for short periods and more than 60 mpg if you drive carefully. With 109 horsepower it's no Usain Bolt, but neither does it feel out of its depth on faster roads. In town, its superb visibility and tight turning circle really help, but it can get a bit choppy on broken tarmac.